In the last few lectures, we learned about the fundamentals of express development. Now, in this lecture and in next couple of lectures, we are going to learn how express actually works. Express uses a concept called middleware, which is very important to understand when working with ExpressJS. We used a middleware in one of the previous lectures of this course. So if I go to VS Code, here we are using this Express.json middleware. Now what this middleware does is, this middleware adds the request body to the request object. So for each route handler function, we are going to receive a request and response object. And by default, Express.js does not add the request body to this request object. In order to add the request body to this request object, we need to use this express.json middleware. Okay, so let's understand what a middleware is and what do we use it for. Now, the most important thing when working with Express.js is to understand request response cycle and understand the use of middleware concept in request response cycle. So let's say here we have an Express app. Now, when a client makes a request to this Express app, this Express app is going to send some response to the client. But in between the request is received and the response is sent, there are few things which happens. Okay, so basically, in between the request is received and response is sent, this is called as request response cycle. So whenever the Express app receives a request from the client, it first creates the request and response object. This is the same request and response object, which is received as an argument for the route handler functions. Now this data, this request and response object will be then used and processed in order to generate and send back a meaningful response. Now, in order to process that data in Express, we use something called as middleware. So this middleware can manipulate the request or the response object. Now, middleware can also be used to execute any other code as well. It need not to be always about request and response object, but usually it's mostly used on request object. For example, we used express.json middleware to get the request body on the request object, right? Now, a middleware is called as a middleware because it is a function that gets executed in between, that is, in the middle of receiving the request and sending the response. Also, we can say that in Express, everything is a middleware. Even the routes which we defined, that is also a middleware in Express. So these routes which we are defining here, that are also middleware. Okay, so when we define our routes in Express, we can think of route handler functions as the middleware function. So these route handler functions are actually the middleware functions. And these middleware functions are only executed for certain routes for which we have defined it. For example, this get all movie and this create movie, these two middleware functions, basically these two route handler functions will be executed only for this URL. In the same way, this get movie update movie and delete movie, these three middlewares, these three route handler functions, they will be executed only for this URL. So these route handler functions, which are also middleware functions, these are only executed for certain routes for which we have defined it. But most of the time when we create a middleware, that middleware can be executed for all the requests. So in between the request received and responses sent, we can have multiple middlewares. And in technical terms, all the middlewares together that we use in our app is called as the middleware stack. Now, what's very important to keep in mind here is that the order of the execution of middleware in the stack is same as the order in which they are defined in the code. So let's say in the code, we are defining first this middleware, then this middleware, then this middleware. So the execution of these middlewares will be same as we define it in the code. The middleware that appears in the code first will be executed first. Then the next middleware in the code is executed and so on. The last one to appear in the code will be executed last. So here in Express, the order of the code matters a lot. So how does a middleware work? Basically, the request and response object that we created in the beginning, they go through each middleware where they are processed or some other code gets executed. Then at the end of each middleware function, a next function is called, which is a function that we have access to in each middleware function. Basically, after the middleware function code is executed and next function is called from within the middleware function, the next middleware function in the stack will be called and executed. And in each middleware, some processing of request or response object will happen or some code will be executed. And the same thing happens in all the middleware in the stack until we reach the last one. So in this way, 
the initial request and response object goes through each middleware step by step. Now, the last middleware function is usually a route handler function. So, in this middleware, we do not actually call the next function because this one is the last middleware in the stack. So, in the last middleware function, instead of calling the next function, we finally send the response data back to the client. And in this way, the request response cycle is finished for that particular client request. So, this is a very high level overview of how a middleware works in Express.js. Now, let's understand the concepts which we have learned in this lecture by implementing a custom middleware in our next lecture. So, this is all from this lecture. In the next lecture, we are going to create a custom middleware and there we will understand different concepts which we have learned in this lecture. This is all from this lecture. If you have any questions, then feel free to ask it. Thank you for listening and have a great day.